Hi guys, uh, this is Hetu and uh, welcome or welcome back to Itil QA Labs. In this session, we will look at uh, foreign key constraint and this is the last constraint that we would like to cover as part of this uh, tutorial, this series. We have already uh, looked at uh, rest of the constraints, check constraints, not null constraint, unique constraint, default constraint and primary key constraint previously and this is the last and last one uh, in SQL the foreign key constraint this constraint is also called as referential integrity all right so you might expect the interviewers asking some time interchangeably as a referential integrity constraint and what is the significance right so so what we will do is we will divide this entire uh, you know discussion or entire uh, session within in, in two ways right one we will try to understand the theoretical aspect of it and then we will uh, look at the practically and uh, followed by we will also see uh, if time permits we will take some um, questions answer right and uh, also re questions related to interview right okay so what is foreign key foreign key it is a column or set of columns that references to primary key from the same or other table okay so this definition uh, I will try to clear it up here right so there are two kind of tables involved in uh, the foreign key constraint one table first table is called referring table referencing table and other one is referenced table right so reference table means reference table from where the foreign key uh, is referring its value from right so I think when I will explain it I think it will more clear but for now you understand the referencing table is also called as a child table and reference table is also called as parent table or base table so here I have taken example employee table and department table now this department table is uh, you know the primary key and uh, here this department number is the the foreign key okay so here this is the entire you know structure of this table right so employee table and this so this is the foreign key guys so at per definition if you see it is a column so in this case it is not a set of column it is only one column right so it is a column that references to primary key okay that references to primary key from other table okay not from same table in this case it is other table so this is a column which is referencing the primary key from other table so this is the primary key and it is referencing so this particular column in the employee table department number is referencing its value from the department number from the department table so what does it mean when I say referencing referencing means it is taking all the possible values which are here here right into here so only values which are available in the department table under department number can only those value be inserted here if we do not have any value nothing can be inserted here okay so this is what the primary key constraint all right and uh, so guys let's uh, try to see this uh, interviewer might ask a question okay something related to this okay so given this example employee table and department table and this is the constant primary key and foreign key constant here now he can ask you can I insert the department number table uh, sorry can I insert the employee table before inserting the department table department table any value so for example he is asking that what if I do not insert any value here and I want to insert some value here is it possible what do you guys think yes you guessed it right no no it's not possible because this is how the referential integrity so this particular column is referencing the value from this particular table so obviously if this table does not have value corresponding value in the department number what it will reference it will reference nothing which means you will not be able to insert anything here right so uh, the answer is you will not be able to so what is the correct answer means uh, we have to insert first the base table okay 
base table should be populated first in terms of data and then only the child table can be populated here okay because everything that is here in base is ref means uh, uh, can be referenced here okay other thing is let's say i have 10 20 30 40 50 okay now i want to insert one value for example let's say employee number 1006 and uh, some name and then uh, i want to insert department number as 60 so we do not have 60 here we have only up to 40 here i want to insert it is it possible to insert it no why because it doesn't have the referenced value here so it will not be able to do we will see all this practical you know um, uh, information later right once we do that uh, there is another question that can be asked uh, okay this is related to inserting right now there can be a question related to removal so in the same questions let's say uh, interviewer can ask can i uh, given this structure right same structure can i go and uh, delete the depart the record uh, this record i mean the department number 10 this record without deleting anything from here is it possible no guys it is not possible again right you have to actually first because this is referencing right this is when you created it this is referencing already already looking to this particular column if you are removing it which means this will be orphan right and uh, as per database it is not allowed uh, as per rule right so it will throw you an error saying that referential integrity violated constraint violated so you will not be able to insert so this is guys very tricky question so for removal you should not be able to remove um, anything from the primary uh, you know the reference table or the base table until you remove the corresponding record from uh, child table okay but in case of insertion it is other way around you should be inserting first record into into uh, you know parent table and then only you can insert in the child table okay so this is how it is and uh, now this is very important question and you are uh, most probably they will ask these questions right so insertion and uh, you know removal so now what we will do is we will try to uh, go uh, to straight to my uh, SQL prompt and then we'll try to see that right so I have already written the you know the create statement will quickly without wasting any time we'll create this table okay and then um, after that we'll try to insert the values okay all right guys so I am creating first department table okay I created the department table and again you know creating the department table i mean first we have to create the base table why because you see in this we are actually referencing the department table only right so if you do not uh, you know create the department table you will not be able to write this references and all right so which means you are not able to put the foreign key constant here right so that is why so guys this is the syntax okay this you already know that right so we are just creating a department table and uh, department number i am just marking as a primary key okay as per our uh, design status here right and then um, uh, okay so for creating that employee table which is the child table what we are doing is this this is normal right so primary key again i am creating for employee number employee name again no constraint and then department number actually what is happening department number i am creating and then i am saying this department number it is referencing the department table okay department number from the department table right so this is this means that we have to create this first right now we have created the child table as well okay let's see that okay all right it's created now now what we will do is now we will try to uh, other way around right so what we try to do is we do not have any value first uh, as i as we were seeing that whether can we insert the child table before inserting the parent table i think the answer is no but let's try if it is allowing so we will try to see okay okay guys so let me see this is the child table i am just trying to insert the child table first it is giving you integrity constant right violated parent key not found parent key not found which means i have to actually insert first the department table which is the parent table or the base table right so let me just try to insert it one is inserted I'll try to insert this three i think this will better to see okay we'll try to 
insert all of this and okay guys don't forget to commit because this is not auto commit all ddl dml are need to be committed specifically now if i see we have three records now in department table got it now we will try to insert some values from here also so we are now inserting value so now there is no error before it was giving error right when first tried we tried right now we are inserting one more record okay christopher what i'm doing is guys again see i'm inserting uh, other employee but with the same um, same department id okay so we'll see let's see emp so you see we inserted four records and you see the department number 10 are two times okay and when i say uh, department table you see guys 10 20 30 right now the other question that i was telling you you know is it possible to possible to remove the data from you know from the so this is child this is parent table i want to actually remove from the parent table okay since uh, employee table is referring this uh, value so let's let's try to see if it is allowing me to remove okay it should not allow me to remove okay delete from okay dept because this is the base table where dept number equal to okay equal to 10 i'm saying it should give you error okay so what it is saying is this is saying child record found which means this is the it is saying that there is an integrity constraint violation which means that you are actually trying to delete from the parent but there is a child already existing so this record is existing right for this particular department number 10 so this is the child table and there is a child record existing and you cannot delete it okay so this is what it is uh, uh, you know not allowing view right so this is uh, the referential integrity all right guys i think both the questions that we have discussed initially i think answered here we try to see that okay now one uh, i think uh, this already seen okay this is the question guys can we insert a row in child table without referencing a value from the parent table okay so that we have seen right we try to insert it uh, you know very initially before so we try to insert uh, the value in the employee table it did not allow maybe we can try one more thing okay so let's see here now let's say i want to insert in employee table and i want to insert 40 here but 40 is not available in the department which means it cannot reference this right there is no reference so it will give you error again it says the unique key uh, sorry guys i think this is another key i just want to put something else here okay it is i mean it is giving the very first constant error right because pri we are primary key defined and we are actually trying to insert that's why it is giving error on the employee number now let's try this is the correct error so what it is saying parent key not found which means we do not have any value in the parent table means base table are the referenced table here only we have 10 20 30 but we are trying to insert 40 so it is saying that we cannot insert parent key not found it is violated okay guys so this is uh, what i wanted to discuss and uh, i think uh, i think video is uh, little lengthier so what i will try to do is i will try to create one separate video for this okay so the question is can we remove a row from the parent table without removing from the child table right so that we have seen that it it will not allow you to remove the data from the parent table right if you have uh, the child table because that will be our fun if you are doing to and sql or the databases will not allow you to do that but there are certain cases when we would like to do those kind of operation and how do we do that right in that case so we would like to um, so uh, let me show you once more what exactly i mean to say so okay now i have select star from dept for example okay i want to just remove 10 okay so delete whether i will be able to do it or not so from dept where 
dpt number equal to 10 so it is giving you error right integrity constraint child record found which means child record record found in employee table right because employee table is a child table so here we found this particular record is already there that's why it is not allowing you to remove it from the base table but guys uh, i mean in in some cases we might need to do this i mean uh, without removing the record from the child table we would like to remove directly from the parent table so in that case how we can do it uh, there is uh, something called on 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 delete cascade okay something called on delete cascade command so this you have to define when you create a table right and then it knows that you know when you delete something it should be uh, when you delete uh, something in the parent it should be cascaded to the child uh, table as well right so this is very important and very tricky for interview so i will create a separate video uh, for this uh, so guys just watch that video i think then uh, everything about the foreign key uh, you know constant is clear here and uh, believe me if you explain or you know this much there is no other questions that anyone can ask you from the foreign key okay so uh, uh, for now i think uh, um, we should uh, wrap up this session and then we will uh, i will create a separate video on this on delete cascade this is the smaller chunk only i will just create a smaller a small setup a small video for this and then we are done with constraints now okay after this okay guys thank you thank you for watching and one more thing one more request guys please uh, do subscribe my channel and uh, that really gives me motivation to create more and more video right so please do subscribe and like share comment right and if you have any question you can obviously comment and ask me you have you can also uh, send me the questions on my facebook because i have uh, updated uh, now so you can also send me uh, that's all for now guys thank you very much thank you for watching and uh, see you with the with the video on the on delete cascade okay later thank you and until then happy learning bye